Yo, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing today? Happy day after Valentine's Day. Listen, I hope all of you lovers and friends really got to enjoy Valentine's Day. And for those of you who didn't have nobody to enjoy it with, I hope you found something to keep you occupied and not hate on people who got something to, uh, <laughs> that has something to do on Valentine's Day. But uh, happy day after Valentine's Day. Today is Thursday. Uh, it's Friday, Junior. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and I wanted to get on here and talk about something I was thinking about all day yesterday, which is funny because it's Valentine's Day and I shouldn't have been thinking about people breaking up. But it was something that I thought about um, and something I kind of discussed before. So as y'all come in, please do me a favor and share this, like it, get in the comments, talk to me, let me know what y'all think. I know some of y'all probably on lunch right now. So hopefully y'all catch this live. If not, catch the replay. All right. So I want to dive into this, right? Relationships are complicated, right? We all know that, right? And while I believe that relationships require work and that um, you shouldn't be so quick to jump ship when it comes to a relationship or um, you shouldn't be so quick to end a relationship when hard times come, I do believe that there are signs that tell you like, this ain't it. <laughs> and a lot of us ignore those signs because of society right? Because society tells us to stick it out or whether it's uh, just the way that you were brought up, uh, whether it's your religious belief, different things like that. We stay in relationships a lot of times um, because, you know, we, we, we're we broken on the inside, right? We have some unhealthy uh, trauma responses to people and situations and um, we stick around because of, you know, trauma bonding or codependency or just because we fear being alone. Um, so I wanted to talk about something to kind of help put some things in perspective and really help some people. Um, right. You know, yeah, I got a divorce and no, I'm not about to be on here and be like, Hey, everybody get a divorce, but I am going to talk about something that you need to consider, um, when it comes to being in a relationship and understanding when is it time to end a relationship right now, these, uh, principles that these th three things that I'm about to talk about ain't necessarily just about romantic relationships, right? This this can be applied towards friendship as well, um, towards family as well. So um, I want you guys to listen with an open ear, right? Again, I'm not encouraging people to get divorced, but I am here to help people out understand that like sometimes it does require you to end something for you to move forward and for you to like have a healthy relational life. All right. So I'm about to dive into this, right? So the first reason or the, the number one sign that it's time for you to end a relationship is you're not happy. Now, I know you may say, no, Tommy, that's not, that's not happiness is fluid and this and that. Yes, I 100% agree that happiness is fluid. And I believe that before you use, and this is why I'm giving three things because it ain't each one of these things on their own. Because if you try to take each one of these things on their own, um, it, it, it's not good. So you need, all three of these need to be in row and there are more, but I'm giving y'all three that I feel is important, right? So happiness, right? The moment that you feel unhappy, it's time for you to reevaluate things, right? And the first reevaluation shouldn't be in things. The first reevaluation re should be, okay, why am I not happy? Okay, right? Um, the next thing you need to do is communicate your unhappiness, right? Whoever you're with, whether it's your romantic partner, whether it's your friend, whether it's your family, you need to communicate with them. Say, Hey, listen, I'm unhappy right now. And I don't know the reason why, but I, I need to find out why I'm unhappy, right? And you need to do some soul searching to figure out why you're unhappy, why you're unsatisfied, right? And once you do that soul searching and you realize like what it is that's making you unhappy, you can then now move forward in the next phase of figuring out this happiness thing, right? Um, because sometimes um, we connect our, our unhappiness to people or their actions when the reality is those are just surface level things, right? It's deeper than, you know, that relationship It's deeper than that person. Sometimes it can be some uh, a lack of self-fulfillment. Maybe you need to rediscover yourself or do some things to uh, to grow yourself. Right. So um, I would encourage you the moment that you feel unhappy to like really do some soul searching. Right. And then after you do the soul searching. You communicate with with the person that you're with, whether it's like I said, your ro romantic partner, your friend, family, let them know, hey, I'm unhappy, right? 
and I figured out what it is that makes me unhappy. And if it's if it's the person doing things, you got to let them know that, hey, when you do A, B and C, it makes me unhappy. Right. And if that person loves you, their response should be, OK, I would do my best to avoid doing A, B and C so that I don't make you unhappy. Right. So you didn't say all of that. Right. And nothing has changed. That's the first like, OK, it's time for me to jump ship. All right. Because I, this I, I've communicated my unhappiness. Um, there has been no change in, in, you know, what we're doing. I told you what was making me unhappy and there has been no change in, in your behavior and your character. So I don't think that this is the best thing, right? The next thing you need to consider, um, when it's time to end a relationship is if you're growing, right? Your growth individually is your responsibility, but as a couple or as an item or as a friend, that relationship grow that relationship should grow you in a way that uh it, it shouldn't be the same like you've been friends with this person for 10 15 years right or you've been in this relationship with this person 10 15 years right even 3 to 5 years right you've been in a relationship with this person and that relationship is still the same as it was when y'all first started meaning like there's still childish behaviors, right? There's still petty arguments. There's still uh, a lack of communication. There's still like if that relationship hasn't evolved over time, you're 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 putting yourself in a situation that's going to keep you stagnant. I always say if it ain't growing, it's dying. So um, staying in a situation that isn't growing, that isn't developed, that isn't evolving, you're doing a disservice to yourself. Every relationship that you enter should teach you something. Every relationship that you enter, you should learn something from that relationship, right? Um, you should learn like, okay, uh, I got this habit. I need to change this. Or the way that I talk, I shouldn't do this. Or it shouldn't, I know for me, there's been like, um, I've, I've been in relationships where I would talk to people and I realized like, hey, this is a good person. I can't be out here outside like that. I gotta be committed to this. Like if, if your relationship doesn't foster an environment of growth, it's not a relationship that you want to be in. Now, I'm not saying that this person is responsible for you growing because you're responsible for that. But as a relationship and as a couple and as, you know, friends, as family, that relationship should evolve with you. Right. So if it ain't evolving, it's dying. So those two things, like I said, if if you're unhappy, if it's not growing and last but not least, because this is going to be a quick video because I got to get into work. Last but not least, if you're not you, it's time to end that relationship. The moment that you realize that you're lost, you're not yourself anymore. You, you're becoming someone that you're not. You're becoming someone that you vowed never to become. Um, it's time to reevaluate that relationship and reconsider it. Like, yo, is this relationship worth the person I'm becoming? Right. Are you more agitated all the time? Are you angry all the time? Are you less of yourself, less expressive? Maybe, I know for me, I was in a relationship once and, you know, people who know me know that I like to laugh, I like to smile. I, I It was a time where I was in a relationship where I couldn't even remember the last time I laughed or smiled, right? Um, when When you're not yourself and you're becoming something else, it's time to reconsider that relationship. So many people stay in relationships too long because of familiarity, because of the opinions of others, or because of the optics of what it looks like, or just the way that society has painted pictures. Now, I don't think that you should just break up with somebody or just end a relationship or just cut people off because you feel some type of way. That's why I said each one of these things needs to be considered before you make that decision. Um, but in the same breath, you have to be real with yourself and honestly, you have to live the life that's best for you. At the end of the day, you're the only person that got to live your life. You're the only person that's responsible for your happiness, <clears throat> for your peace, for your sanity. And if that relationship isn't fostering peace, isn't fostering safety, isn't fostering um, just a, a sense of growth and evolution, it's time to end that. You know, I know you love that person. I know y'all had history together. I know you, you know what I'm saying? Y'all been friends since y'all was in kindergarten. I know, you know, you've been working at that job for 10 years. I know, you know, that's your sister. That's your brother. That's your mom. I know, you know what I'm saying? I know all of these things, but you have to be honest with yourself. Is staying in this relationship, staying in this situation, is it worth what I'm dealing with right now? You know, am I... 
am I uh, gaining anything from being in this relationship? And if the answer is no, man, it's time to consider these things. Are you happy? You know, are you growing? Are you yourself? And if the answer to all of those are no, that might not be a relationship that you want to be in. Listen, some of y'all are wasting time right now. The person that you're supposed to be connected to is out there waiting on you to get your stuff together. I was about to say the S word. <laughs> uh, there's a someone out there that's waiting on you to get your stuff together, right? Waiting for you to 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 figure it out. And they ain't like really waiting. Like they ain't on the sideline, like just waiting. But it's somebody out there that 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 needs what you have. Like I said, this ain't just about relationships, like romantic relationships. There are people out there that need you, the authentic you, right? And if you're in these relationships that doesn't allow you to be yourself, that doesn't um, that doesn't exude joy, right? That doesn't um, uh, foster growth or evolution, you're doing yourself a disservice and you're robbing the world from experiencing who you truly are. Now, I know this is the day after Valentine's Day. I know some of y'all probably just getting out of bed with somebody right now that bought you some chocolates or got you some balloons or some flowers. Listen, maybe that joke ain't the one. <laughs> Maybe that girl you bought them roses for ain't it, right? You have to make a decision like, yo, I need to do this. And, and people are going to be hurt, right? Somebody hearts got to get broken. Somebody's feelings got to be hurt. But at the end of the day, it's your life. Only you live it and nobody else can live it for you. And if you're unhappy, if you're not growing, if you're not yourself, does that sound like something that you want to be a part of? I don't think so. So do what you will with that information. Again, I'm not saying get a divorce. I'm not saying break up with that person. I'm not saying in that friendship. I'm not saying leave your family. What I am saying is consider these things. And when you, you consider these things in the right way, like I said, the happiness one is a big one because a lot of people like to just jump ship. I'm not happy no more. You need to do some soul search to figure out why you're not happy because it might not be that person. It might be you. It might be some areas in your life that you're that's going unfulfilled because of decisions you made. So figure that out before you even consider that. But you have to consider all these things, not just one of them, all of them. Right. Um, if if you don't feel like you, you right. Start start doing things to try to rediscover yourself, figure out who you are. And if you're going on that journey to figure out who you are. And it's not being supported by the person that you're with or the friend that you involved with or the job that you're working or this and that. It's time to cut ties with that, right? You're not happy. You're not yourself. You're not growing. Nobody wants to be the same. I Listen, I know people who've been dating since high school. 20, 25 years later, they still acting like high school girlfriend and boyfriend. I'm talking about not the, the cute puppy love. So I'm talking about the stupid arguments. Still checking phones, still checking uh, uh, in instant messages, still still accusing each other of cheat. Like that don't get old to y'all. Like that don't <laughs> that don't like you ain't never like. Ain't you tired of that? You keep putting yourself in that, right? You keep putting yourself in those situations. For the people who who got to check uh air check the DM. Listen, I, I said this to myself. The moment that I feel that I got to check your DM or I got to go through your phone, I'm not going through your phone. I'm just ending it because if, if it's to that point, I don't trust you. I don't want to drive myself crazy. Some of y'all driving yourself crazy, right? Or if you the person that's making them feel insecure to the point that they got to search your phone, you ain't you ain't grew up yet. Like you ain't <laughs> you ain't evolved to like, yo, man, this. This cheating stuff is 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 played out, man. This, you know, getting girls, getting guy like that that ain't played out to you. You ain't growing. So like y'all got to get it together, man. Listen, consider these three things. If you're not happy, if you're not growing, and if you're not yourself, maybe it's time to end things. Y'all do what y'all want with that information. I got to go to work. I'll talk to y'all later.